Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall we appreciate God? Appreciate God with your hands. Appreciate God. Let everybody be on his feet. Appreciate God. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate God. He's so good. He's so good. He's so kind. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. He's so good. Appreciate him. We we'll thank you, Jesus. We cannot thank you enough, Father. We cannot thank you enough. We cannot thank you enough, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I appreciate you, Lord. I appreciate you. I bless your name, O Father. I bless your name, O Lord. I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you adoration. You are the source of my strength, Lord. You are everything to me, Lord. You've done so much for me, Lord. I can't tell it all. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Appreciate him wherever you are. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are grateful, Lord. I feel like singing, but no time for that now. I just want to appreciate you, Father. I just want to appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we pray? My Father and my God, we thank you. We give you all glory, Lord. We give you all honor. We give you all adoration, Father. Amen. Father, Lord, we have come again in your presence, Father, Amen. to hear and to receive from you. Amen. Father, minister grace unto us. Amen. Minister love unto us. Amen. Father, Lord, let there be a rising up in us, O oh God. Amen. Father, let there be an eye opening, Father, in us. Amen. May we see and behold you, Father. Amen. Father, may we see and behold you, Father. Amen. Speak through your servant, Lord, Amen. to your children, Father. Amen. May they receive life, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. For in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are welcome in his presence in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Quickly, shall we turn our Bible to the book of Revelation? Revelation chapter 1. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 1. Chapter 1, we are going to be reading from verse 4. John to the seven churches which are in Asia. Grace be unto you and peace from him which is, which was, which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 3 verse 1. And unto the angel of the church in Sardis writes, This thing saith he, that had the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou hast a name, that thou livest and are dead. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall we turn to Isaiah chapter 11? Isaiah chapter 11. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to read from verse 1. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and mind, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge after the sight of the eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of the ears. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. May the Lord add to the reading of his word. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, this evening I want to speak on the seven spirits of God. Amen. 
the seven spirits of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now when we talk about the seven spirits of God, we are talking about a person. That must be registered in our hearts. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are not talking about seven different persons. Is a person. Now, dispersing himself in seven folds. Amen. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because we understand that the number seven is a peculiar number. Amen. Seven is a number of completion. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So the seven spirits of God is found in Revelation chapter 3 verse 1. Let's take that place again. Revelation chapter 3 verse 1. Now he says, And unto the angel of the church in Sardis write, This thing saith he that had the seven spirits of God. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So the seven spirits of God is talking about a person. He's talking about he that has the fullness of the spirit of God. Amen. He that has the completeness of God. Amen. And that person, we know that person to be the last man, the second Adam, the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In the book of Isaiah, it was a prophecy. Amen. Now, if you go back to Isaiah chapter 11, you will understand that Isaiah was prophesying about something coming out of the root of Jesse. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, Isaiah was not saying that this personality is going to fall from somewhere, from nowhere. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He was not saying that this personality is not going, is going to fall from nowhere. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. They said, but it's going to come from the root of Jesse. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Say the root. Let's go back and read that place. Isaiah chapter 11. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 11. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Isaiah 11 11 from 1 He says And there shall come forth a rod Out of the stem of Jesse And a branch Shall out Shall grow out of his roots Praise be the name of the Lord Hallelujah. And Jesse is a person Like me and you Praise be the name of the Lord Hallelujah. Jesse is from a lineage Of Abraham Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. When the Lord spoke to Abraham, he said, there is going to be a seed of Abraham. Amen. In that seed of Abraham, the world shall be saved. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So he's a seed of Abraham. And Paul made us to understand that that seed of Abraham is the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Amen. Now what is important is to understand that it is a root of a special class of person. Amen. Is a root of an elected few. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We must understand that this Lord is rising from a root. Amen. Is rising from a human being. Amen. Is rising from a people. Amen. Is rising from a person. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And this person is the chosen of the Lord. Amen. Is the person of the Lord. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says he's a root out of Jesse. He's coming out out of Jesse. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And we understand that when that was fulfilled, praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. There was a testing. There was a speaking. There was a testimony of the body of Christ. Amen. Of the body of the Christ. Amen. Of a people through which the Christ will manifest. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what the New Testament is talking about. Amen. The New Testament is talking about a covenant people. Amen. It's talking about a people in which there is the law of God in their heart. Amen. It's talking about a tabernacle of God. Amen. It's talking about a special people that manifest God. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the church of Jesus Christ is that personality. Amen. 
And the church of Jesus Christ is that body. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are talking about the seven spirits of God. Amen. The world has had different move of God. Amen. Different move. They have had different capacity of God. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. There is only one thing that God is looking out for. There is only one that thing that God wants to see. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Even when the prophet Isaiah will prophesy, he said, Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God is looking for the manifestation of sonship Amen. in a people. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He's looking for the full expression of his spirit in a people. Amen. When the Lord was speaking to the church, he said, This is he that holded the seven spirits of God. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, the world has passed across different dimensions of God. The world has passed across different messages of God. Amen. There has been a period of the Old Testament. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. When the Spirit of the Lord inflates some little few. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. They make out a writing in the world. Amen. And it is compiled today for us to have reference to. Amen. That time has passed. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen. The world has experienced the gift of God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God is not looking out for a people with his gifts. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want us to understand me. God is not looking. Listen. He's tired. It, it has become a vomit to him. Amen. The gift error in the church has made God to be to, to, to feel like vomiting. And that has materialized the church to the era of the Laodicea. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That you tell this, I want to vomit you. Because I'm not seeing the seven spirits of God. Amen. I am not seeing my express personality. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God is not looking for a people that have a little of God. Amen. A people that is manifesting a portion of God. Amen. So we stand and say, only Jesus Christ manifested the fullness of God. Amen. And God is looking for a people with his fullness. Amen. With the fullness of his spirit. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. That's why when the Lord was speaking to that church, he said, it is he that holded the seven spirits of God. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God is looking out for a generation of God on earth. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. His express image. He's not looking out for a people like in the Old Testament. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. They will wait and go to somewhere to seek the face of God. Moses will climb the mountain. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God is not looking for such. We come into the New Testament. Oh, the one with the gift of prophecy who wait to be moved before he can speak. God is not looking for that. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The one that has oh that is calling this in the in the in the in the, in the fivefold ministry in the, in the place of prophets. He knows how to conduct himself and be in the realm of the spirit before he can speak. That is not what God is looking for. Amen. God is looking for Christ. Amen. The fullness of his personality. Amen. That is what he wants. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what he's looking for. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Because that is the only thing that can change the world. Amen. The Bible says, the world is looking for the manifestation. They are waiting for it. Amen. They are waiting for it. Amen. They are waiting for sonship. Amen. They are waiting for sonship manifestation. Amen. They are waiting for it. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And God is looking for one.
that can manifest his fullness. Amen. Not at the level of gifts, but at the level of the full expression of his person. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Now, Lord, watch. He says, there's going to be a rod in the root of Jesse. There's going to be a rod in the root of Jesse. Now, let's find out who is Jesse. Jesse is a chosen of the Lord through whom the Lord will manifest the Christ. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And who is the representation of Jesse today? The bride of Christ Amen. is the Jesse of today. Amen. Look at the promises. He said, he that overcome will do what? Will rule with me Amen. on my throne. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He's looking for a church. A church. Not just with one of his spirits. Because that has not helped us at all. That cannot help the church today. Amen. It may work yesterday, but it cannot work today. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, the enemy has perfected his art of deception. And you need the perfection of Christ to overcome him. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You need the fullness of Christ to overcome him. Amen. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. What is the spirit of the Lord revealing today? The spirit of the Lord is revealing a people that are born of God. Amen. Praise Amen. be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, Paul can say flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. But today we have a people that are not born of flesh and blood. Amen. They are not born of flesh and blood. Amen. They are born. They are born of God. Amen. And it is their right. And it is their right. Amen. And it is their right Amen. to manifest the fullness of God. Amen. It is their right to manifest the fullness of God. Amen. Not just a half. Not just a gift. Not just a little. Not just a, a some, but the completeness of God. Amen. A people in this time that will give the perfect counsel of God. Amen. The people in this time that is coming to bring perfection to the humanity. Amen. A people in this time that is coming with enough fire of God to burn everything that is not of God. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is they are born of God. Amen. They are no longer talking about flesh and blood because they are not flesh and blood. Amen. They are not flesh and blood. Amen. They are born of God. Amen. Their spirit, as God is spirit, Amen. He's brought them to a place where He will show them. The everlasting gospel. Amen. The gospel that brings down the full salvation of this world. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. We are talking about the seven spirits of God. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It is your inheritance. Amen. It is your inheritance. It is my inheritance. Amen. Because you are not born of the flesh and blood. Amen. You have come to that realization. Amen. I have come to that realization. Amen. It is my full inheritance. Amen. He is looking for a class of people Amen. that belongs to the same class with him. Amen. The God class of people. Amen. The Christ class of people. Amen. People that don't look at flesh and blood. Amen. They don't consider the things of flesh and blood. Amen. They only look at the spirit. Amen. The expression of God. Amen. In humanity. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen. Man missed it in the beginning. Amen. They missed it. Do you know what God me what man miss? Man miss the perfect wisdom, the perfect knowledge, the perfect might. All that pertains to Christ 
he missed it in the beginning. Yeah. He missed it. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. By the last man, Christ, it is restored. Amen. Amen. Listen, these people, the first man is not in their dictionary. Okay. It's not in their dictionary. Is not in their dictionary. You did not understand me. You did not catch it. The first man does not exist. Amen. The only man that they know is the last man. Amen. That is all they know. That is what God wants the world to know. Amen. He wants the world to know the last man. Amen. Not the first man. Amen. He wants the world to know who their true identity is. Amen. When Paul said, you worship what you know not what, oh my, many have come with different understanding. Right. They have come with different wisdom Amen. of the unknown God. Amen. Oh, they have come. How mighty, how powerful this unknown God is. They have come with all that can type concerning this unknown God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Paul said, I have come in the simplicity of the gospel. Amen. And to tell you that you are the image of the invisible God. Amen. You say, why will you think in your heart that God is like unto an image, forehead image? Every religion have a representation of an image. Amen. Every religion have a representation of an image of God. Amen. The bride knows only one, one thing. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. They know Jesus Christ, the express image of the Amen. Father. Amen. They know about the last man. Amen. They don't know about the first man. Because the first man has died. Amen. He has died. Amen. He has died. Amen. He has died. Amen. He has died. Amen. You must die to that first man. Amen. In your understanding, you must die to that first man. Amen. In your reasoning, you must die to that first man. Amen. In your thinking, you must die to that first man. Amen. In your trials, you must die to that first man. Amen. In your tribulation, you must die to that first man. Amen. Whatsoever you are going through, you must die to that first man. Amen. Because that first man has died. Amen. He has died. Amen. He has died. Amen. He's no more. In the dictionary and in the life of these special people, the what they know, the man they know is Christ. Amen. The one that came from heaven. Amen. That is what they know. They don't know about any other man. Amen. Oh, no other name like the name of Jesus. No other name like the name of Jesus. Oh, no other name like the name. other name. Go ahead. No other name. No other name. There is no other name. I know no other name. Glory to God. Oh my. No other name. No other name. No other name. Oh glory to God. Oh no other name. No other name. No other name like that name. No other name. I know no other. I know no other. No other name. He's worthy of all glory. He's worthy of all praise. He's worthy of all power. In your trials, look upon that name. In your temptation, look upon that name. There is no other name. There is no other name. 
No other name. No other name. No other name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, my. the name. another wisdom. He began to seek another spirit. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is the condition of the church. Yeah. The church are looking at their leg instead of looking at their head. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They are looking at their feet instead of looking at their head. Listen, if you want to look at your feet, what you are going to see on your feet is dead. Amen. Because there is a prophecy. He says they, they say the serpent will do what? We bruise the feet. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Why the head we bruise the head of the serpent? Amen. If you want the end of the serpent, look, behold him. Amen. Behold him. Amen. Isaiah will say, He said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Amen. Not just coming upon me in half, in gifts. Is upon me in fullness. Amen. In the fullness of his spirit. Amen. The church must see his completeness in Christ. Amen. The church must see his completeness in Christ. Amen. The church must see his completeness in Christ. He must behold him who is risen. He must behold him who died, resurrected, risen, and is seated in the highest of both. Amen. Looking at her feet. But looking at her head. Amen. Oh, behold, he comes with clouds. He comes with clouds. How many can behold him? He's not going to come like your religion. Listen, your religion is pointing to your feet. If you're looking at your feet, there is no perfection in your feet. Amen. No perfection in your feet. Amen. The only thing you'll find in your feet is confusion. That's right. In confusion. If you want to find perfection, look at the head. Amen. Look at the head. Amen. Behold him, he comes with clouds. In your condition, in your sin, in your lust, in where you are forgotten, in your state of slumber, look at your perfection. Amen. Behold. He said, Behold, he comes with cloud. 
the religion world don't want you to see him because they know you can never be perfect by imperfection Amen. the only thing that can make you perfect is perfection Amen. the seven spirit of God Amen. when it has come upon you glory to God is giving you a wisdom Amen. let's go to Isaiah Isaiah chapter 11 Isaiah chapter 11 praise be the name of the Lord Hallelujah. we are taking it from verse 2 the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him glory to God Hallelujah. listen everybody is crying let me tell you one secret. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God only has one rest. And his rest is in Christ. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And our rest is also God's rest. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Where is the spirit of the Lord resting? It says they are resting upon him. Amen. Where is the rest of the church? Christ. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen, when the Spirit of God is resting, that means He does not need you to walk. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. He does not need your walk. The first man wanted a walk, he wanted a walk. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord doesn't need your walk. Amen. He wants you to rest where He is resting. Amen. I have my soul have found a resting place. Amen. My soul has found a resting place. Amen. A resting place. Amen. Where is my rest? Christ is my rest. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, my spirit is resting amen that is where my spirit is resting amen if you have not come to rest upon the christ oh my you will end in misery amen you will find yourself in confusion amen you will find yourself in trouble amen. you find yourself in sorrow you find yourself trying to do one thing and falling over and over again Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's listen to Isaiah. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon me. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, let us read quickly 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 6, 17. 1 Corinthians, don't close the Isaiah. We'll go back there. 1 Corinthians 6, 17. Glory to God. Amen. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Amen. I'm so happy. Amen. Oh my. Devil is fighting a lost battle. Amen. A battle that has been won. Which he has lost. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. That is what my eyes can see. Amen. First Corinthians quickly. First Corinthians 3. 17. Three seventeen. If any man defy the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy. Which temple ye are? Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, listen. The spirit of the Lord is rest. Now, listen. Is resting upon his temple. Amen. The spirit of the Lord is resting upon his temple. Amen. Where is the temple of the Lord? I am the temple of the Lord. Amen. You are the temple of the Lord. Amen. If you can receive it, that is who you are. Amen. I am God's temple. Amen. You are God's temple. Amen. The spirit of the Lord is resting. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. He's resting in his temple. Amen. He's resting in his temple. Amen. You must recognize this new man. Amen. You must recognize the understanding of this new man. Amen. 
the wisdom of this new man Amen. is marching out majestically Amen. as the body where the spirit of the Lord is resting. He is not coming out to do any other work, but is resting upon the rest Amen. of the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Are you resting upon the rest of the Lord? Amen. Or is your mind troubled by the sea of the trouble of the soul of man? Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He said, Come on to me, all ye that are heavy laden. I will give you rest. Amen. I will give you rest. Amen. What kind of spirit are you coming to God? Are you coming to him with the spirit of the first Adam? Oh my. The spirit of confusion, the spirit that cannot rest, the spirit of to and fro, or you are coming with the spirit of rest. Amen. That spirit that is resting upon the accomplishment of the Father. Amen. See, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Amen. When you are resting, glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen, you have put on that crown of glory. Amen. And that crown of glory is his spirit. Amen. And his spirit is one with your spirit. Amen. And your spirit has disappeared in his spirit. Amen. And your spirit is the only one that is seen. Amen. The church of God is marching out with the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That is the church Jesus Christ is looking for. Amen. He's not looking for a church that is coming with one revelation or the other. He's looking out for a church that is coming with the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You are marching out majestically. Amen. Your husband is with you. Amen. Not a church without husband. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That was what happened to man. And is happening by religion. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. A beheaded church instead of a beheaded serpent. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. A church that is Christless. A church without Christ. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because the Christ, there is rest in the Christ. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There is rest in that Christ. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, the Spirit is pushing me to say many things. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I just want to hold it a bit. Let me tell you something. You think that man is so limited. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me tell you man that is limited. It is man without the spirit of God is limited. Amen. The church is not limited. The church with his head is not limited. Amen. All that is of God belongs to them. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Let me tell us a secret. Glory to God. Amen. I know many will be offended. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Many will be offended. Oh my. But those that this world is meant for, they will hear it. Amen. And they will receive it. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Now, let me tell you. A church that is complete. Now watch. When was man Created. When was man manifested? Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Man was manifested after all that has been accomplished in the spirit. Amen. After creation, after the rest of God. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That was when God bring brought out man, man of the earth, and he breathed into him his own spirit. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that man was deceived. The same way the church is being deceived today. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The same way the church is being deceived today. Amen. That was the same way that man was deceived. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen. God has finished everything. He only wanted that man to have a turn, to trust in him, to take him, accept him as his all and in all. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That is all that God wanted. He wanted the man to be sufficient in how God has made him.
Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But the man, instead of the man to look at his limitless life in the realm of the spirit, he's looking at his limited life in the physical realm. And that is exactly the position of the church. Amen. How many can turn around? How many can turn around? How many can turn around? How many can look at the voice that is declaring to you? He's saying, I am Alpha and Omega. The church must come to the point when they know that they are the I am. The I am of the hour. Say amen to that. Amen. If you have not come to that point, oh my, the spirit that is working in you is the spirit that is less. It's not the spirit of the complete, the seven spirit of God. So the wisdom that you have is limitless, is limited. The understanding that you have is limited. Until you come to that point that your head becomes the I am. That you call yourself the I am. Looking at the, listen, in the same spirit where John saw himself. Not in the spirit of the first man, but in the spirit, in the day, in the light of the last man. Say amen to that. Amen. Say amen to that. Amen. Look at yourself and behold. When you can behold and say, I am mine. When you say, I am love, what happens? Love will manifest. Amen. Now, God is not looking for a church. A church that is depending on what there's a difference between receiving of a gift and manifesting of a life. He's looking for a church that is manifesting the life of God from the inside. Amen. Pouring it out. The world is tired of gifts. What they want is the life of God. Amen. They want sonship manifestation. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That is the church that Christ is raising. He's raising a church. Hallelujah. A church that is life. Amen. They can stand like their head and say, I am life. Amen. I am resurrection. Amen. I am love. Amen. I am the wisdom of God. Amen. I am the power of God. Amen. They can stand to declare all the fullness of God. Amen. In their head. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, their thinking has changed because their head is no longer the fallen man. Their head is the victorious man. Amen. The man that knows, that has already overcame flesh, that have already overcame everything. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That knows who he is. And they are standing in that realm, in that light. And they are declaring, I am life. Amen. I am life. Amen. I am resurrection. Amen. I am life. Amen. Until you come to this realm. You, what you have is a limited spirit. Amen. Not the fullness of the seven spirits of God. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen. I don't want to take you back to, to history. History is good. I am not interested in history. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, what I want is a life. A living life, a quick life. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what Christ is. His life is quick. And that is what the bride of Christ is, has become. The bride of Christ has become his body. They have become life. They have become all. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen. Oh my. Do you know what will happen? Gifts. We follow you. Amen. He has brought you to the point where gifts we begin to follow. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Let's go back. Isaiah chapter 11. Amen. Glory to God. We are, what is the state that the enemy has placed you? Say to the enemy, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Amen. The head. My head has been anointed with Amen. oil. Amen. Oh my. 
My head is the anointed one. Amen. Christ himself. Amen. That is my head. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Isaiah 11. From verse 2. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of God. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He's coming with a full package. Amen. That full package is the seven spirits of God. Amen. He's coming with his complete, the completeness of God. Amen. And that completeness is in Christ. Amen. Tonight, how many is willing to change their language? Amen. How many is willing to change their language? Amen. How many is willing? To change their language. Amen. Because that is where true wisdom is revealed. Amen. True understanding is revealed. Amen. True counsel is revealed. Amen. That is where the truth in completeness is revealed. Amen. The church has put upon her. Her garments. Amen. And Christ is her garment. Amen. He has put it on. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They are wanting nothing. Amen. They are complete. Amen. Oh my. Amen. They are not divided from her, from him. They are him. Amen. He is, she is he, and he is she. Amen. Both are one. Amen. Perfect fusion, union by fusion. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This union will release enough energy that the earth cannot comprehend. Amen. Enough energy that will bring about a change. Amen. That will manifest the life of God. Amen. That will manifest it. Amen. That will manifest it. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. The seven spirits of God Amen. shall be rise. Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you. We are grateful to you, Lord. Amen. We thank you for your wonderful works in this hour. Amen. You are manifesting sons. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Those with your covenants. They are the one, the life givers. Amen. They are giving life to Amen. the world. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Amen. As you say, say, ye are the light of the world. Amen. Father Lord, I have given your word to your children. Amen. Father, let them receive it. Amen. And let that word bring a change of mind. Amen. A change of of thoughts, let them begin to manifest the seven spirits of Christ. Amen. The completeness of Christ. Amen. Let them cease from seeing their limitness. Let them begin to see their unlimited life in Christ. Amen. Bless my family, Lord. Bless my wife. Bless my children. Amen. Bless your servant, Herbert, Lord. Amen. Oh, bless all your servants, oh God. Amen. On this platform that is keeping this fire burning. Amen. Bless my brother. Oh my. Glory to God. Amen. Bless them all, oh Father. Amen. Bless them all. Bless them all, Father. Amen. Bless them all. You know them all, Father. Bless them. Amen. Give them a word of fire. Amen. Because what this world needs is fire. Amen. Father, give them a word of fire. Amen. Amen. That will burn every word that is not of you. Amen. Amen. That will establish the kingdom of God on earth. Amen. Amen. That will establish the perfect will of God on earth. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless them all, oh Father. Amen. Bless them with their families, Lord. Amen. Bless them, oh God. Bless him, oh Father. Amen. Oh, bless him, Father. Bless him, Lord. Bless Brother Henry, Lord. Amen. Oh, God. Bless him, Father. Bless him, Lord. Amen. Give him your word to continue to give to your children. Amen. 
bless my brother Herbert Lord. Amen. Bless him, O oh God. Ah, thank you for your word in his life. Amen. Light that is manifesting in his life. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I bless you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless their wives, O oh God. Help them, O oh God, in their time of needs. Amen. Provide for them, Father. Amen. Provide for them, O oh God. Amen. Provide for them, Lord. Amen. Remember all our ministering brothers, O oh God. Remember them all, Father. Amen. Remember them with their families, Lord. Bring them back home, Lord Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you, Father. Amen. Help me, Father. Help me, Lord. Amen. Help me, O oh God, to continue to declare your whole counsel Amen. in boldness without fear of anything. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For in Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you all.